Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to write a Python application to detect and count the number of persons inside a frame. We will be doing this on a Jetson device. I have with me Jetson Xavier, but if you have Jetson Nano or any other version of the Jetson device, you can still follow up with this tutorial. The only thing you need to make sure is that you have built the project of the Jetson Hello AI project from source. Otherwise, you will not be able to use this because we are going to use Jetson inferencing libraries instead of the OpenCV. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm connected to Jetson Xavier via No Machine. Uh, if you don't know how to install No Machine, you can watch some of my previous videos because No Machine is very faster than the than the default VNC connection. On top of it, I'm also using XFCE environment instead of the default Unity environment because obviously XFCE is faster than the the default desktop environment which you get in the installation. Now, in order to write the code, I'm going to use VS Code. So I have connect, currently connected to my uh, to my Jetson device using the SSH connection. So if you don't know how to set up the VS Code for remote programming and debugging for the Jetson, you can still watch some of my previous videos I've explained there very easily. Now, let's start. So before starting, let's discuss which video we are going to use. So we are going to use one of our videos. So let me just play that video so that we know what we are doing, going to do. So in this video, you can see this person coming and then this these two uh, persons coming so we are going to count these person as well as detect these persons as well so we are going to use this video for our inferencing now let's go back to our vs code and start doing some uh, coding so we are going to start by importing the jetson library so jetson dot inference and import jetson dot utils and we are going to use this centroid tracker uh, for our tracking purpose uh, i'll put the link download all these files in the description you can download all the files from there so from centroid tracker import centroid tracker okay now we will load our model so we are going to use net equal to jetson dot inference dot detect net and we are using obviously ssd mobile net model And threshold let's take 0 0.6 so anything below 60% confidence we will ignore that let's create a display window and let's use our video file as a video source so jetson test.mp4 now once that is done let's uh, use font for overlay text because we have to display the count numbers on our frame so we are going to use first let's define the font so jetson dot utils dot CUDA font and let's resize it so that it properly fits our uh, frame so size equals to let's take 32 now let's also define our tracker so centroid tracker and inside this we have to define the max disappeared and max distance this is these are the two important uh, parameters but you might have to adjust these as per your uh, choice so i'm going to use max disappeared as 50 and max distance uh, somewhere around 40 let's see how it performs on these values and then here i'm going to define a, 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 a variable a, basically a list which will hold the values of all the object ids our tracker is detecting now once that is done let's create a while loop so while display dot uh, is streaming let's read the frame so camera dot capture let's define another uh, um, list which will hold the values of rec um, the boundary boxes and then let's perform the inferencing detections equals to net dot 
detect and let's pass our image which is the frame let's loop over all of our detections and let's append this inside our um, list which we just created Okay, once that is done, we just have to pass this inside, uh, pass this to our uh, our tracker. So let's create a variable objects and then ct dot update rects. And then once that is done, let's fetch values from our uh, tracker. So for object ID bonding box in objects dot items Now once that is done, we just have to display our uh, the count. So I'll just simply use fun dot overlay. Inside this first parameter is I have to pass the image. Then second parameter is image dot width. Then next parameter is image dot height. And then next parameter is the text. So count and then dot format. length of object list after that we have to pass the position so let's take it at x y as 5 5 and then we have to pass the value of color and then we have to pass and I guess that's all now once that is done we just have to display our uh, our uh, results so display dot render and display dot set status uh, let's name it as person detection and counter and I guess that's all okay so the code is done it's very simple we have imported the libraries we have uh, defined our model we have defined our display here we are taking the video source you can pass any video you want or you can even pass uh, you know the webcam or the RTSP URL of your camera here we are defining the fund this is where we are initializing our tracker and inside this while loop we are capturing the image and then we are doing all the inferencing at this particular line once that is done we are just uh, using the for loop to loop over all the detections and then we are passing all those direction to our tracker the tracker is then returning giving us our object id which we are storing inside this particular list if it's not already inside the list and then at the end we are just simply using the fun dot overlay to display all the count of the ids we have detected and then we are just displaying all the frame and everything now hopefully this code should work perfectly fine let's go back to our jetson device and run this code okay so i'm inside my jetson xavier device let's create uh let's open a window and let's run the code you can obviously find link to download all these files test files and everything in the description you can go there and download all the files and run it on your uh, jetson device so when you're going to run it for the first time it can take a bit of a time because it will be converting the model into a tr trt model and then it is loaded and i can see that it has detected this person fine and the count is also showing as one which is what we wanted let's wait for another two persons then we'll see
perfect so we can see that it has detected both the persons and the count has increased to three so this is how it's going to uh, increase all the value all, all the values of the person it has detected and the count will keep on increasing so this is how you can design write a simple basic uh, uh, python code to uh, detect and count the person it's a very basic person counter video i hope you like this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel